Were you aware that the defendant described to his best friend that um, when he slid down, the defendant slid down, that uh, Trayvon Martin was up around his armpits? Were you aware of that? No, I've not heard that. No, sir. Okay, well, where would the gun be now? Now the gun would be um, behind your left leg. Okay. The defendant did tell you, though, as well, that at some point he slid down um, further between Trayvon Martin's legs. Yes, he did indicate that he was sliding down, and I believe that's how the uh, jacket came up, exposing the firearm. You know, if I can have just a moment. Okay, and uh, we understood that all of the jurors were standing up, looking over the rail when that was all going on. There was a... Were well, the injuries on Mr. Zimmerman's back of his head consistent with someone doing this on cement? I, I don't think so. How about this? How about somebody resisting the attempt, the injuries, the two lacerations? Could that have come from cement? If somebody was resisting me pushing down like I, this? I, I believe so. I believe it was a culmination of downward force, whether it was from pushing or striking. And I know clearly by the injuries to his face, and that driv would drive him back, his head striking hard into the concrete. Okay, so do you think Marco Marin knew that dummy was coming out today and did he just have to ad lib? What am I going to do to try to offset that? Because he saw the jurors stand up on two occasions when that dummy was brought out.